Hi guys, Vex here, and it only took 70 episodes, but I am here at the Citadel, ready to infiltrate this place and take on the Combine. <clears throat> Man, look how high that is. I always thought this place was awesome. Just the sheer scale. Man, that's really cool. Alright, so to get in there, we're going to have to, uh... Let's see, we need to go down here. Jump down. Careful. Oh boy. Oh boy. I think there's some right here on this thin strip. I think it does some sort of rock fall uh, animation. No? There's a boot. Hmm. Kill for a boot and uh, I've been playing a game I got on Steam recently called Neo Scavenger. Game makes you happy just to have footwear. It's a post apocalyptic survival scavenging game. The graphics are pretty simplistic, so I don't know if I'd recommend it to everybody. It's sort of a niche thing. And it can be kind of. It's a roguelike, basically, so it can be really frustrating because you can get the. You can be really invested in your character playing for a while and then random number generator just decides that you need to die and then your character is deleted and that's it. So, uh, you know, I was playing earlier today and I was 16 hours into the game and, uh, or 16 hours of game time from the start and I, my character all had only had a, a spear at that point but I thought I was doing alright and I found uh, basically the game's version of a werewolf and it killed me because it, it hit me like once and knocked me down and the game is turn-based, so... Um, very frustrating. Very frustrating. I don't think there's anything down here. I don't believe I need to be as cautious as I'm being. I think I can just run in. I think I can go this way. But yeah, if you haven't uh, checked it out, you may... There's a demo, so you can go play the demo. It's called Neo Scavenger. Neo Scavenger. Uh, it's on Steam and good old games. But enough about that. Let's talk about Half-Life 2 and how awesome the Citadel is. Why is it awesome? As a set piece, the, the environment is just different and cool compared to what I've seen from other video games. The scale of the Citadel when you step out and look up... Oh my gosh, it's, it's crazy. I think I'm going the right way. Maybe. Okay, so I definitely don't want to be on one of those pods when it gets uh, zappy thing eat for sure. So that track goes to the zappy thingy, whereas the other track goes to not zappy thingy. So I'm going to hop into the uh, well, next one, I guess. I find it interesting why it would open here. Oh well. And why would you need to get off there? There's nothing on that platform. So you just kind of get in one of these little... Um, what should I call these? Cages? Yeah, I guess cage. Harness? Combine railed harness cage thing? Maybe?
I don't know. But this gives you a really cool intro to the Citadel, and just like look up there, look how far that is up there. All that stuff up there. And then down there, and just, the Citadel's awesome. Just, just, just look at it, look at it. It's huge. And Valve really shows it off to you here on the ride in. Rail harness? Harness rail? Cage? Railed cage? System? Pod? Pod. Hmm. Yeah, pod might be a good word. So it's sending me somewhere. Not quite sure where though. Hi! I am here to destroy your citadel thing. You could easily just shoot me while I'm stuck in this thing and kill me, but I guess you won't. There's some striders down there. And there's dropship pods going above me. Wasn't this shot here in the trailer of the Striders walking underneath you? Eh, it's a good shot, I'm not gonna lie. Hi, Combine. I always thought the Combine were kinda cool. Oh, here's a dropship, uh, gunship factory. These, uh, these gunships are living organisms, by the way. They're biomechanical, I suppose. There's a train. With, uh, pods on it. going somewhere. I like that rhythmic clanking. Shit! Oh no, no! No, I know what's about to happen! I know what's about to happen! No! No, baby! No, drop it. No. No, not the confiscation field. Not my revolver. No, where is she? No. Give me back my... Re no. No, give me... No. Run, sweetie. Run, sweetie, no. No. Oh, you bastards. You combine bastards. No. Urge to do Impulse 101 Rising. Oh, now they try to kill me when I'm helpless. They should have done it when I was in the pot. Like, really. Hi. So now the gravity gun works on organic material. Which, when I think about it, is a very horrific weapon. So now I have the uh, organic gravity gun. Now what happens to their guns here? At last. Hi. I wish I could say this was a pleasant surprise, but it matter of surprise, nor I can surely agree very pleasant. Well, I am nothing if not pragmatic. Oh, I see. It's uh, it's making their guns disintegrate, so I can't get their guns. Oh, and uh, the combine 
things in here like they supercharge my suit. Something's been something's been done to my suit. My armor rating goes through the roof here. Hi. I'm Super Freeman at this point. I'm, I'm basically Superman. I've gone uh, Super Super Freeman, Super Super Saiyan. Yeah, their guns disintegrate. Well, Doctor Freeman, under other circumstances, I'd like to think we might have been able to work together in an atmosphere of mutual trust and respect. Certainly, judging from your brief tenure at Black Mesa while I was its administrator. You showed every promise of becoming a valuable and productive contributor to the scientific process. And yet, I'm not sure what spurred you to it. But there is really no place in this enterprise for a rogue physicist. A rogue physicist. What if I was a rouge physicist? Put some rouge on. Could you imagine Gordon Freeman with some rouge? Eyeshadow. We're fabulous! Blah 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 blah. Blah blah everything goes slower Ooh, look at the science field. It's a field of science. Oh, that's not very polite. Ooh, now I have a science ball. Well, until it blows up. There's a recharge station. That is amazing. I still really miss my revolver. It's like bowling for humans. Or transhumans. So this section of the game is all about uh, using these little energy ball thingies to throw at people. Kinda cool. I mean, I like it. It's fun. Still kinda miss the weapons, though. Ah! Hi! My disappointment in Eli Vance and Isaac Kleiner is far greater than my sorrow over your unfortunate choice of career path. The way I suppose you could have done otherwise. Who knows what seeds of iconoclasm they planted when you were young and gullible. But while they certainly share a great part of the responsibility for the recent troubles, it is you alone who have chosen to act with such willful disregard for humanity's future. The funny thing here is that if you listen to Breen, he considers himself the good guy in this situation. He's justifying everything with, uh... <laughs> gotcha. He justifies it all with, uh... He's doing what's good for humanity. Let me take another hit off that. There's plenty of healing in those stations, too. Yay, combine bowling! Hi, guys! Ow! Hold on a sec. Let me knock you off. Is 
Is that thing here yet? Oh, I know what I want to do. Ah, It didn't kill him like I thought it would. Hey, go in here. <laughs> is that thing here yet? Oh, there it is. Oh, he got it on board with me. I hope they don't throw a grenade in here. Sector is not secure. Yeah, you bet. You think so? Hi, right, come here. Where is that coming from? Oh, I see you. Oh, I missed. Oh, is there a grenade in here? Yeah, there was. I need a ball. Probably could use another one of those healy thingies, too. Because I only have 7 HP left. Yay, I made it and I didn't die. No. Damn it. Ah, oh, crap. Damn. It's kind of rough. Did I, uh. I'm starting to feel like I, uh, didn't get on this thing with enough HP to complete the trip. Uh, complete the trip. That's one thing the save system will do sometimes, is you can get yourself in a situation where you can't possibly win. If you save there, and then... Uh... Alright, where are they coming from? Oh, hi! Hi! No peace! Think that went, be went better than last time? Where's the next opening gonna be? There. Got him. Ah, hi. Ow. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Whew. Let me off this thing, please. I think this is the last one. There we go. Tell me, Dr. Freeman, if you can. You have destroyed so much. What is it exactly that you have created? Can you name even one thing? I thought not. Creating a brighter future for humanity by getting rid of you. I do feel slightly bad for the combine in here. The soldiers. Just because this does not seem hardly fair in the slightest. I mean, I have basically a uh, death touch or death gaze. It's like I look in the general direction and right click and they die. I think I go this way. Well, at least there was one of those. I have 
laid the foundation for humanity's survival. And not as we have narrowly defined ourselves, but as something greater than we could ever imagine. Something we can now only begin to glimpse. But see, okay, see, here's the problem, is you keep saying we, but you didn't give everybody on the planet a choice in that matter of whether they wanted to be involved in your version of survival. That makes you an asshole. Yeah. See, my political philosophy is that people should be free to do as they please as long as they do not infringe upon the rights of others. It's really, really, really simple. It is based on personal freedom above all else. It's really, really simple. You think, like so many real-world politicians, that you know what's best for society and you're willing to use force and violence to inflict your decision upon other people. Asshole. Anyway. I'll see y'all next episode. Until then, as always, take it easy.